Hello everyone. So today in this high performance graph system, we are going to look into how to mask some of the layers in the landscape uh, and spawn the grass blades, generate the grass blades only in certain landscape layers that we need. So here you can see this uh, brownish layer, uh, which is something like the road. Here you don't get uh, grass blades generated, but in this uh, green area, you do get grass blades generated. So this is what we are going to work on today. So to demonstrate this, um, here, let me go to the landscape and make some more area dirt, mark as dirt. Let's say over here and then make this area green right and then if i go to my grass generator clear grass and generator again now you see grass blades are generated on uh, with this updated area so yeah that's what we are going to cover today okay so currently i have this uh, default checkers pattern material so here is the material proc grid material so basically what it has is this uh, checkers pattern not the default default checkers pattern this checkers pattern that we see on template maps okay uh, so now in order to have two different layers so that i need to have a grass layer and maybe another dirt layer that i can use for things like roads or whatnot where i don't want grass to spawn so i'm gonna set up that now so for that so all i'm gonna do is having two colors for this pattern so here landscape no, layer weight uh no not this one layer blend and we need to find weight blend landscape layer or oh, weight oh this one landscape layer no landscape layer blend okay this one sorry and yeah i need two layers as i said so i name them grass and dirt um, for grass i'll put one as the preview and here i'll add the vector parameter for the color I'll call it grass color and another one let's call it dark color and connect for the grass I'll give some green something like this for dirt some brown something like this and then I'll um, let's multiply and see how it looks. All right, now if I go to the landscape mode and select the landscape, I don't see layers okay after saving it appeared now for the grass first we need to assign a layer info so let's create layer info weight blended layer for both layers okay so it all looks green maybe a bit too much let me change the color a little bit 
okay i reduced the intensity of the color now everywhere is green so let me select this dirt layer and draw a path okay so that's like this so i only want to demonstrate this so i'll just draw it like this so think of this as a road of some sort okay now what i want to do is in this uh, yellow area i don't want to spawn this high performance grass so to do that here if i open this and uh, layer in four let me open this grass layer here we can use a physics material now uh, here we have enabled engine content also so we can see a lot of choices for that but these are inside engines so i don't want to use them let me hide okay now nothing is there okay now under materials let's create a new physics material physics physics material m p no p uh, plus now here we can select a surface type but we don't we have only default surface type here so let's go to project settings and under physics there should be a way to define surface type so here i'll name this cross and dirt so now we have grass for the pm grass and let me duplicate this pm dirt here i chose dirt you can use any name you want doesn't matter so now as the physical material physics material of the grass layer i'll just grass and for the where was it dirt layer i'll choose dirt all right now if i that's all for the landscape part now if i go back to the grass system when we do line traces should be here yeah here when i do the line trace to get the location on the ground here we can access physics material we can get surface type from that and there we can check if it is equal to grass if yes we can uh, add grass blades we can spawn grass blades in that location compile right now here if i select the grass system again and clear generate grass trials um nothing renders PM dirt layer four. Oh, maybe this one has something to do with. 
minimum collision relevance weight the minimum weight that needs to be painted for the layer to be picked up as dominant physical layer right i put point five and we will have to give the brass also point five and then oh let me go back to paint mode and see the size total strength target okay so it seems the it always here i added a print i was doing a little bit of debugging because white was not working so it seems now here you don't see a grass plate because this returns the landscape always returns default surface type no matter what i have assigned here for these layers and this one here i have assigned the pm grass this is just a box cube and here i can see i have reduced the number of grass plates so that uh, i can test it easily so here a grass blade is created because this returns this cube returns um, surface type as grass so let me clear and see this cube returns grass so this looks like maybe a bug but one thing uh, something else that i noticed is this if I first play the game and select the grass system and generate grass, now it correctly returns the surface type. So that's why I see grass here. And now I can increase the density and generate. Oh, I have enabled the debug type. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I should have done it in the game play mode. see now you see grass is created here in the green area but not in the road so this the logic is working but the only problem that i can't figure out is why it's not working in the editor type when i simulate the grass generation so how can we resolve this issue how to work on this so while i was searching for a solution for this issue i came across this particular node editor get paint layer weight by name at location so let's go here and instead of this we can use that so how should we do this let me collapse this let me add a reload node here and delete this here and collapse this branch here I'll check layer right now this is what we have we don't need uh so as i said what's the name editor get paint layer so make sure get paint make sure you disable this context sensitive otherwise you will not get the required uh, node so write this so here we can define the paint layer which is grass layer info and then we can get the weight and check if it is greater than let's just say zero or maybe 0 0.1 whatever you want but to do this we need a reference to landscape component so how do we get a landscape component here um we can add a variable in the type of landscape we can 
we can't directly set landscape component because we can't set it from the details panel so i'll choose landscape and make it visible all right that's fine now here we can select landscape that we have in the level which is this one and then we can get the landscape we need a valid one otherwise we would have errors so i'll convert this to validated get and from the landscape we need to get landscape component so get component by class here i'll use landscape component not components component by class landscape component okay now we can use this reference all right And oh, we need to give the location. Compile. Is that all? I think so. Now, if I run, oh, see, the code is working. You can see the grass blades. Now, let me clear that and increase the density and also disable this. Uh, line trace debug type we were using as I remember 300 and you're right all right so here is the result now you can see this path area we don't have grass and in the green area we do so yeah that's all I wanted to cover in this episode now if I want to update this what I can do is go to the landscape, paint mode, select it, and paint like this, and go back, grass system, clear grass, generate grass again, and yeah, here we have the updated grass. So all right it worked and thanks for watching as always updated fuzzy files will be available here in the patreon page link would be in the description below see you in the next episode goodbye so as the next step oh, let's see what i have in my list cross system yeah we did the masculine spawn area that's what we did today oh yeah we need to work on how to add a custom texture and how to add multiple blades from the same root those things and c++ yeah i want to completely convert this to c++ and see if we can get some more advantage over that or just try it and see so yeah those are the things I have planned so far in this series. So feel free to let me know what else you would like to cover here. And see you in the next episode. Goodbye.